Wong. Um, I'm an assistant professor of horticultur horticultural crop IPM here at Purdue University. So what I'd like to share with you today is how to scout your hemp plant plantings for pest insects. One of the first things you can think about if you have a planting like this one is consider that pest may be on the edge of your planting but also in the interior. So I'm going to show you now how you might walk through um, kind of on a diagonal transect to see how insects on, might be on the edges versus the interior. So just starting here from the edge, kind of walk through, take a look at the plants, and we'll demonstrate a little bit more closely um, later in the video, but you kind of want to look at the plant in three different sections. The top part of the plant, the middle, and then the bottom, which is a little more challenging because these are in here pretty dense, but it can be done. And just kind of walk through here and look at each of the plants. And you're looking for um, several different things. The insects themselves, which um, if you know where to look and if they're large like Japanese beetles, they're pretty easy to spot. But sometimes the insects won't be on the plant. So in that case, you want to look for signs things like feeding damage um, or things like uh, waste, insect waste, frass or honeydew, the solid and liquid versions of insect waste. Before walking through, it's a little windy today, but you kind of want to observe the plant from a distance. Kind of take a look, see if you see anybody before you walk through, because then if you disturb the insects, they may all fly away and you won't get a chance to see who's who. So last but not least, I'm going to walk through here. There are several tools you can use to help you spot insects um, on the plants. So one of my favorites that I like to tell everyone is the very fancy white paper plate, or in this case, styrofoam plate. And these are great because you just kind of stick it under the plant, knock it like this, and some of the smaller insects, there's nothing here right now, but um, that you might not see easily with the naked eye will become very apparent on this uh, paper plate. Also, always have a little container handy. It could be a Ziploc bag or a, maybe a small mason jar that you have at home. You can just kind of come along. If you see an insect, kind of just catch it in there and you want to collect it and submit it to the Purdue Plant Pest Diagnostic Laboratory. Try not to smash the insect. One of the things we like about containers are that the insects aren't gonna get smashed, whereas if you put them in a Ziploc bag, it's easy to smash them. It's contained and submit the sample. And last but not least, um, a hand lens or magnifying glass can really be a great tool, easy to keep in your pocket um, so that you can kind of zoom in on certain parts of the plant or certain insects um, that you might find. Hi everyone, my name is Zach Serber. I'm a master's student working with Elizabeth Long. Uh, so this season we've mainly found insects that cause either piercing sucking damage or chewing damage. Now, uh, chewing damage tends to resemble this, where you have a leaf that's been entirely just chewed to pieces. But this chewing damage is mostly focused actually around the bottom or middle of the plant. Uh, if you look at the top of the plant, uh, these leaves are relatively untouched. This is why it's really important to scout the whole plant and not just a piece uh, of it. Insects that cause chewing damage that we've found so far are flea beetles, uh, Japanese beetle, caterpillars, things like that. Oh. And piercing sucking damage actually usually resembles like chlorosis. So the leaves turn yellow. Now the biggest insects that cause piercing sucking damage on hemp are aphids, white flies, and leaf hoppers. Uh, and those insects are tend, tend to be found on the underside of leaves. But if you don't find them on a leaf that's turned yellow, uh, I would suggest scouting the rest of the plant because leaves that have become yellow are usually abandoned in favor of fresher food.